How you doing? Nick here. Just had the time this morning, so I wanted to knock this video out because it keeps coming up on forums, Facebook, whatever, whatever. Um, this video is not a review. Uh, we're talking about Gen 6 Camaros, specifically the SS. Mine happens to be a 50. Love it. Looks cool. Goes fast. It's awesome. Handles great. Um, you can get that anywhere else. What we're going to talk about briefly are the people that have the A8 automatic in a Gen 6 and may or may not have a torque converter or transmission problem. So my story goes, I bought this car brand new. Uh, it's been a little over a year now and it has around 12,000 miles on it. Bought it in winter uh, last February. After about 400 miles, um, I noticed something was wrong with its shifting. Yeah, 8-speed transmission, haven't driven one before, whatever, whatever, got it. There was something wrong. Um, I didn't test drive it because I've never bought a lemon before, right? This is a lemon and I bought it. So, here's the story of what happened. 400 miles, I knew something was wrong. Um, called the dealership, they said, hmm, never heard of it. I thought, that's pretty funny um, because it's all over the forums. Gen 6, even the old Gen 5, the threads have made it in there. Um, people didn't know at the time what was going on. Um, so 400 miles, slipping, erratic shifting, and when I say slipping, I mean first to second, second to third, third to fourth, low throttle, um, level road, or slight uphill. Uh, be going along, RPMs would slip up and then it would grab, slip up and grab. Um, knew it wasn't right. So I thought, well, maybe TCM, transmission control module, needs time to break in, you know, learn shifting. We'll let it go. Um, put about another 100 miles on it, and it was violent. And by violent, I mean low speeds, steep hill, like if you're taking off from a stop sign on a hill, uh, it would shift so hard in a second that it would chirp the back tires, and it would feel like you got rear-ended. Only occasionally, though. Call the dealer. Hey, eh, we haven't heard of this before. Bring it in. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can do. They call GM. GM says, yep, flash the TCM. Give it back to the customer. Go drive it. Did it. Um, for the first 100 miles, it seemed fixed. I was happy. It was great. A um, couple hundred more miles later, uh, it's back. Same exact thing. Research, research, research. I come up with a list of what other people have already done. Hey, next step is a triple flush. Triple flush, triple flush. So, they wanna take all of the transmission fluid out, replace it with Mobile One, uh, different viscosity, not sure what it is, has something different in it. Um, dealership does so and reflashes the TCM. I take it home, uh, it seems better. It seems better. Um, drove it for about a thousand miles and it started to degrade again. I would get um, fluttering on the freeway from the torque converter. And when I say fluttering from the torque converter, it is not the V4 to V8 transition. Um, clearly, during that transition, the torque converter unlocks and relocks to keep it from being a harsh transition. Uh, and that works fine. But once you were over, uh, you know, 60 miles an hour, just cruising level ground, the torque converter would lock and unlock constantly on its own. The only way to stop that was to put it down into seventh gear, back up into eight in manual, um, and it would stop. So I don't know why, what, who, where, when, blah, blah, blah. So that's their problem to figure it out. I still had a brand new car, it still wasn't running right. Uh, and it was just, it was not fun. Not fun to have this car and know that it was broken. So, um, I don't know how many more miles after that. I had just a list of everything that went wrong with it and how it acted just to give those techs all the info they needed to get warranty and get me what I needed. Um, so, I go back. And same dealer, the one I bought it from, go back in whatever the miles are now 4500 something like that i just didn't have the time 
but I kept driving it. It's a daily driver, even all the winter, whatever. So I get it back in. Um, they were, they, well, yeah, I got it back in. They were taking forever with it. I said, you know what? I'm lemon on this thing. I don't have time. It's a pain in my butt. Let's, let's get rid of it. Um, it had been in long enough to qualify for all that stuff. Uh, but I like the car. I like it. So, uh, one last shot, called up a new dealer, uh, one who I used way back in the past whenever I had Chevys, um, but wasn't the closest. I told him the story. I said, listen guys, please help me out. You know, last ditch, like the car, wanted to run right. Um, I take it in, boom, their guy drives it. Yep, no, no, it, seen it before. These dealers are 50 miles apart, that's it. This guy knows it, felt it, said, your torque, torque converter was trashed from the factory, had the bad machine face. That, whether it packed uh, the transmission full of pad material from the torque converter locking strip, um, they weren't sure, I couldn't quite get the details, uh, but they instantly wrote it up uh, after they opened the transmission pan and looked in there. I didn't see it though, unfortunately. Um, instantly wrote it up, needs new transmission, new torque converter. Week later, I've got the car back, new trans torque converter. Um, it's probably got another 4,000 miles on it. Since then, runs perfect, day and night. So if your Gen 6 A8 has anything that you think is wrong with the transmission, get it in quickly. Um, It'll degrade, you'll know it, but hey, is it fluttering on the freeway, torque converter locking and unlocking when you don't think it should? It probably shouldn't. Um, harsh shifts, inconsistent shifts. Sometimes it'll shift great, sometimes it won't. Probably something wrong. The bad part about this problem is that a lot of people won't think it's a problem until it's probably too late. So just my thoughts, I wanted to bring all that together um, and get it out there just to explain it because I was tired of typing it so many times. I want to share the experience. Great cars, great performance, handling, everything else. Uh, you shouldn't have to deal with that problem. Get it to your dealer. Make sure they understand what it's doing. If they haven't seen it before, um, they may be lying um, or they, they may not have seen it or they just don't know. They don't have a good tech that's, you know, a Corvette Camaro guy. This is the same drivetrain, the 6.2 A8 as a base Corvette. Same thing as, you know, your bigger Denali's and whatever full-size SUVs. Uh, they've had that problem for a long time. The torque converters starting a larger problem. So maybe yours is a mix, it's two different things. Maybe it's just a torque converter. Maybe it's nothing. Uh, maybe it just needs a reset. Uh, it could be anything. But uh, check it out, don't let it go too long. Uh, you know, you let your warranty run out and then it can get pretty pricey. All right, thanks. We're going to continue some other videos. We're finally firing this back up. Uh, we're gonna bring you some good RV content as well. So if you like this kind of thing, real world stuff, and if you wanna get into the RV life as well, uh, hit like, subscribe, and we'll keep more coming. All right, thanks.